here's a quick word on uh, flat five or uh, tritone uh, substitutions. Why does it work? Very simply, because the two most important notes of any chord are in both of those chords. They just flip places. The three becomes the seven of the other one. Seven becomes the three of the... So, in other words, if we're doing a two, five, one in G, okay, well, uh, the, only, the only place we use the tritone subs are in place of a dominant chord, because that's what has those two notes in it. Here, here's a D7. Now, here is an F sharp, the three, and here's a C, the flat seven. Now look, there's a flat seven. Same two notes. You could have this, or this. You can hear the same two notes, okay? And you can use them both if you've got enough time, if there's, a, especially if there's like two measures of the same chord. Uh, play the flat five first. Or the, however you want to do them. Uh, the thing is, why are those the two most important notes? Because the three tells you whether it's major or minor. Without a three, you don't you don't know. It could be either one. You can play a one and a five. Well, is that C minor or is that C major? You don't know because there's no E flat or E either one in it, which is the three. There's just the one and the five. And you can drop the one or the five from any chord. You can drop the one and the five uh, as long as you have the three and the seven, which is that's a D seven. Hear that? Drop everything but the three and the seven, and you still got the, the essence of that chord. So, they just flip, they just flip. This is the flat seven of A flat. This is the three of A flat. That's the three, and that's the flat seven of D seven. So the same two notes, they just trade places. That's why a, a tritone substitution works, because you've got the essence of both chords with those two notes. If the bass note changes, you can see it has a little bit of different flavor, but that is always there. What it gives you is a really nice chromatic walk in the bass line. So if you have a three six two five one, which is very common uh, in a lot of music, you'd have uh, your three is B minor. We're in G. Your three is B minor. Your uh, six is E seven. Your two is A minor and your five is D7. So you can take both of those E7 dominant and D7 dominant and replace them with the their flat five. What's the five of E? B. So B flat is the substitute that has those same notes, okay?
So, we've got three, six, two, five, one. Well, now let's substitute the flat fives or tritone subs and we've got this. Okay, it gives you that nice chromatic walk down. Uh, then you can add, that's a, a B flat 13 and that's an A flat 13. So instead of just plain old vanilla chords, you got your Just remember, there, there, that's the rule of thumb. Uh, there's very few, if any, real hard and fast laws. Um, you can just because the chords naturally fall in the order of major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, dim, half diminished, doesn't mean that you have to play minor chord for the two chord. You can go. You can you can make it a dominant chord. Um, the three minor can be a three dominant. Um, those are very common. You'll hear like George on my mind. George. George. Okay. You, you, uh, so, but anytime you come to a dominant chord, you can replace it with its flatted fifth chord. Go have some fun.